calling on Jesus. While they're throwing things at him, he's still calling on Jesus. What he say in verse 6? And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Mm. Ain't that so? He was throwing love at him. No, Lord, I forgive. Ain't that what Jesus said? Lord, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Amen. He didn't throw back. Woo! Ain't that something? Amen. How many of you can forgive somebody throwing stones at you and killing them? And your last words are receive my spirit, Lord, that don't lay this sin against them. Ooh, yeah, come on, brother. <laughs> oh, amen. 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 Let's go back to Acts 14 and bring this to a close. Back to Acts 14, I want you to show you something. Well, I pray y'all got something out there. I know I enjoyed it. Amen. 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 Now, one of the reasons again, and I want to emphasize this. If y'all go through something, I know the majority of people here may be, even me, you know, and there's levels of tribulation you go through. Amen? Amen. But if people are throwing stones at you to keep you depressed, get up, go back. Amen. If they keep on trying to throw things at you, get up, go back. Prove them wrong. Not with words, but with deeds and actions. Prove them wrong with love and forgiveness. Prove them wrong with long suffering. You know, but act it out. Because after a while, your words become nothing. It's like a person keep crying wolf and there is nothing. But sooner or later, you're going to cry wolf, and that wolf will actually be there to bite your tail up, and then nobody will show up. Because you cry wolf even at that time. Amen? Amen. But if you know you're doing the right thing and people are still stoning you and killing you with their words and with their actions, get up. Get up. Pray. Oh, pray. I can't say that. Pray. <laughs> pray. Get a relationship with God. Ask God to give you the understanding. Don't lean on man. Lean not unto your own understanding, but acknowledge God in all your ways and he shall do what? Exalt you when you see God. Amen? But let's read verse 19 to 22 again. And I want to put this emphasis on that. And there came there certain Jews from Antioch and Iconium who persuaded the people and having stoned Paul, threw him out of the city, supposing he'd be dead. They suppose you're dead. Your family thinks you're dead. They threw you out of the home. They left major league town. They put you in places that you had no business being. You went to prison. You went to mental ill hospitals. Come on, y'all. some saints who believe what you believe. Amen. Love the Lord like you love the Lord. Yes. And rise up. Rise up. You hear me? Amen. If you don't know how to rise up, find somebody who's going to lift you up. Amen. When Israel was going to war, they were winning the war while Moses' hands was rising. But as his hands began to drop, they were starting to lose the war. Amen. So guess what? Joshua went up there and raised his hands back up. Go get filled with the Holy Ghost. Go get filled with faith and return to the place they stoned you. Go back to the place they stoned you. Let them see what Jesus has done for you. Talk about what Jesus has done for you. Don't be afraid of them. See, Paul knew to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. I guarantee you when he died that moment, he saw Jesus. Jesus said, go back. Oh, Lord. All right. I mean, he got, watch out, saints, get out of my way. I'm going to bring back in there. Ain't stole it no more. Amen. Amen. And what is the greatest thing he did here? And they preached the gospel in their city and had taught many that they returned again to Lystra and I called him in Antioch. Now, here's my favorite verse. And I'll close with this. Confirming the what? Souls of the disciples. He went back to make sure they received the good news of the gospel of peace. It wasn't about their denomination. It wasn't about their history. It wasn't about their culture, genealogy. He confirmed their souls that they had been born. Amen. And going to stay steadfast in learning about Jesus who saved them. Amen. 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 Confirming 
their souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the what? Faith. That we must through much tribulation, many problems, many circumstances, many persecutions. Amen. Amen. That they will enter into the kingdom of God. All right. Let us pray. I want to ask a few people in here. Are you tired of being stoned? Amen. I want you to say this prayer with me. Father, Father. in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. Thank, you thank you for the stones that have been thrown my way. Thank you for the saints of God that prayed for me. From this moment, I am rising up. And I'm going to throw the stones of love, of peace, of joy.